Hey, what's up guys? It's Sports Blitz here and we're back with our NFL Week 5 picks. Um, last week was pretty eventful. I, I believe went 10 and 6 for my predictions. So not a bad week, but you know, I'd like to step it up this week and you know get some more um, games accurate here. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Really helps out the channel. So uh, week one, um, sorry, week five. Starting off with the Titans at Jaguars. Um, you know, this one's pretty easy for me. I'm not. I've been saying before. I, I'm not a big Urban Meyer fan. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Tennessee Titans here with a 33 to 20 win. Um, the Titans don't have an incredible defense, but the Jags, in my opinion, are just in an absolute crap show right now. So there's that. Then we have the Broncos at Steelers. Um, now the Steelers, well, actually both these teams are really good on defense, but with Teddy Bridgewater out, that's a big loss for the Broncos. But um, on the other side, Ben Roethlisberger also hasn't been playing real well yet. Um, you know, I don't really trust Drew Locke to go up against a defense like the Steelers right now. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to the Steelers. It's gonna be close, but I'm gonna have them winning. I'm gonna say 17 to 10. I think it'll be a really close game, a really defensive game too. Then we have the Patriots at Texans. Now uh, some news just barely broke that the Patriots traded Stephon Gilmore to the Carolina Panthers for a sixth round pick. Um, in 2023, mind you, not even a 2022 pick. Um, so they will be without him. I'm going to go ahead and still take the Patriots here. I don't think their offense is going to be super explosive this game. But I'm going to go ahead and take them with a 20-10 win. I think it'll be close. This next game, a charge, or Browns at Chargers, that should be a fun game. I'm really excited for that game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Chargers here with a 26-23 to win. I think both teams have solid defenses and offenses. Um, the main factor here is that Baker Mayfield hasn't played very well this season so far. Um, and I just don't think he's going to be able to do much against this powerful Chargers defense. So taking the Chargers here. This next game, I expect to be very high scoring. Chiefs and Bills both have some very, very high powered offenses. Um, however, the Chiefs defense is abysmal. Chiefs defense is terrible right now. <clears throat> um, the Bills defense has also been playing really well. You know, the fact that it's in Arrowhead does make this a bit tougher, but you know what? I'm actually going to take the Bills here. Um, I think the Bills have a much better defense and will be able to slow the Chiefs offense down more than the Chiefs defense will be able to slow down Josh Allen, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, that's... That's what I've got to say about that. Um, I'm going to take the Bills here with a 37 to 33 win. Um, I do expect it to be very high scoring. Then we have the Colts at the Ravens. It's a Monday night game. I'm going to go ahead and take the Ravens here. Ravens, I feel like, have had a lot of uh, primetime games so far this season. Um, they've all been pretty close, too, actually. Colts, I don't think, are really a fantastic team right now. I mean, they've still got a solid defense, still got a good O-line, but Carson Wentz hasn't been playing really all that well. Um, I'd like to see them utilize Jonathan Taylor more than they have. I feel like he's a really good piece for the Colts, but I feel like the Ravens are just the better team right here. I feel like the Ravens are going to get a 24-20 to win. And then we have the Jets at the Falcons. Now, I'm going to be honest here, this game could be really close. I know a lot of people are taking the Falcons here just because, the you know, it's the Jets. But, uh, you know, the way that Zach Wilson <clears throat> commanded this um, offense this last week, um, he looked really good. He looked really, really good. Um, so that was really, that was really encouraging. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually take the Jets here with a 24-21 to 21 win. Um, then we have the Packers at Bengals. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and actually take the Packers with a 28-25 to 25 win. I think the Bengals are a lot better team than people give them credit for. Then we have the Dolphins at Bucks. Sorry, I'm going through this you know a little bit quicker, guys. I've noticed my my past few pick 'em videos have gone really long. I know a lot of people like um, you know like faster faster videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Bucks here with a 31 to 23 win. Um, it could be lower scoring than that. I could very well see that happening. I just feel like both I just feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a shootout until the Bucks pull away at the end. Um, then we have the Bears at Raiders. Um, Bears did announce that Justin Fields will be starting for the rest of the season. Still gonna take the Raiders here. I mean, Justin Fields is good, but I feel like the Raiders are just a much better team. They've also faced much better teams <clears throat> than the Bears. So I'm taking the Raiders here with a I'm going to say 24-20 win. Then we have the Rams at the Seahawks. I'm going to actually go Rams here. This is a Thursday night game. Um, Rams, I feel like, will bounce back after the loss to the Cardinals. Matt Stafford should have a good game now. And I'm going to go ahead and take them with a 33-28 win. Then we have the Saints at Washington football team. This one's been a little bit tougher for me to predict. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go Saints here. The Washington football team's defense hasn't played anything like I expected it. Like I expected it. Expected it to. Excuse me. Um, the Saints are also a tough team to predict, though. They've been very inconsistent this week or this year. So it's, you know, it's really hard to predict which Saints team we're going to get. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Saints here in a 28-24 to 24 win. Then we have the Eagles at Panthers. I'm going to go ahead and go Panthers here. I feel like it'll be really competitive, but I feel like the Panthers' defense really bounces back after a tough week four against the Cowboys. Um, I feel like it'll be a tough matchup, but I'm going to take the Panthers here actually with a 20 We'll go 28 to a 21 win. Should be should be a really good game there. Um, then we have the Lions at the Vikings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go Vikings here, but I think it could actually be, um, I think it could actually be closer than we think. Lions I feel like are still a tough fighting team. Dan Campbell has done really well at, at least keeping them in games. Um, Vikings have also had a lot of close games this season so they could very well keep this one close as well i'm gonna go ahead and take the vikings in a 26 to 24 win then we have the 49ers at cardinals i'm gonna take the cardinals until they show me um any reason to not predict a win for them i'm gonna keep picking them cardinals have been playing out of their minds this season i'm gonna take them in a 34 to 26 win and we have the giants at cowboys cowboys are also another team that's really impressed me this season um, i'm gonna go ahead and take them in a 34 to 21 win i think it'll be actually pretty dominant here but that is all of my week five picks let me know what you agreed with what you didn't agree with um, again, be sure to smash a like button and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Later.